welcome to the session on nesting and unnesting this nesting and unnesting we are talking about uh, for the databases let us see what are the things talking about the learning outcomes of this session at the end of this session you will be able to design the tables using the complex types like arrays and multisets and you will be able to apply the nesting and unnesting thing on the tables consider this books relation this is containing the title then the set author set and then the publisher information as name and branch and then the keyword set uh, which is having the uh, set okay with the keywords uh, for that book so this is the relation with all these complex data types so let us see how it is designed it is designed with the uh, first we have created a type called as book okay you can see here that this book type is uh, uh, we have taken by title as uh, the normal character data type and then the author we have taken as an array okay and publisher we have taken this as a structure which is containing name and branch then uh, this author array then the keyword set which is a multi set uh, which is the uh, containing the keywords okay now whenever we are uh, creating this collection values then how we are uh, doing the construction of those one you can see the example here uh, that is provided as array okay and whatever the author uh, authors are there those are listed here and for multi set the keyword multi set is used and in in the bracket whatever the set contains are there comma separated contains we are providing okay so uh, if you want to create the table based on this one we want to insert the values and that one um, based on this type then it is provided in this way okay uh, first the title then array uh, author array then the publisher information then the multi set data okay so when when we are inserting the data into that relation books values then we are inserting in this way okay uh, compilers as a title smith and jones as a array of authors then publishers information as mcgraw and new york and then the parsing and analysis are taken as a keywords which is in the form of the set okay now let us see how to query these collection valued attributes we are uh, we are considering the example of querying here and that querying we are uh, we are taking by the unnesting and nesting concepts okay uh, so what is the query here to find all books that have the word database as a keyword so we are finding all the books which are having the database as a keyword in them okay keyword set so for that how we are writing the query select title from books okay title uh, we want to take the title of those books uh, so books is our table where database now this is a keyword we want to search in the keyword set so in and one more thing we are uh, we can see here that is called as unnest okay unnest and the keyword set so automatically what it is doing it is unnesting the set okay one by one all the contents of that keyword set are compared with the uh, with the key searching key that is database here okay now if we can uh, that is one one part for accessing the set elements now here if we are accessing the array elements okay and individual array elements we want to access and we, uh, we know that how many authors are there for a particular book in that case we can uh, write the query in this way so what is the query here select author array okay first array of 1 that is the first author then array of 2 the second author and array of 3 author array of 3 the third author okay from the relation books where wh what is the title the title is database system concepts so uh, here what we are doing we are accessing the elements from the array individual elements from the array now let us see here now we want to get the information from author array okay so that we are doing by this one to get a relation containing pairs of the uh, form title and author name okay for each book so in that case what we are doing individually title with the author name we want means uh, for one uh, one book if we have two authors then it will show the two uh, tuples here okay i with the same title right so select uh, what we are saying b dot title a dot author from the books as b okay we are taking b as the books one and then author as a okay but one more thing we have added here which is called as unnest author array so automatically what this unnest is doing it is taking one one element each element from that array okay and it is uh, connecting that with the title Okay, accordingly so that is what unnest we are doing here 
similarly ordinality also we, if we want the position that is uh, the first author second author and all that so in that case we are using the ordinality one with ordinality so in that uh, here how the query we are writing b is title then the author with the position okay and that position position is the ordinality value of that we are saying unnest and after that we are using one more um, the con keywords here that is with ordinality as okay so uh, every author with the position you can see here so what it is displaying the book name the author name and the position first author second author third author whatever it is that is provided here now let us see what exactly this unnesting is usually what is the meaning of unnesting the transformation of a nested relation whatever the nested contains are there or the attributes are there into a form with fewer relations okay relation valued attribute that is called as unnesting when uh, more number of elements are there and one by one we are iterating that one that is called as unnesting okay the detailed one we are getting that is called as unnesting okay so this this books relation and when we are uh, unnesting completely the the complete table we want to unnest so in that case we are writing the query in this way what we are doing title then the uh, author okay then the publisher information with name and publisher branch then the keyword okay and we are unnesting here author array also we are taking the publisher information individually we are unnesting keyword set also okay so here b is uh, ranging from the books and a it is taken as an author array and k is taking as a keyword set so uh, every information of these one is iterating okay and the detailed information it is providing now how it is providing you can see after executing that query it is providing the detailed information here you can see all the informations are there now how it is working you can see now that the publisher information is uh, it is getting from this okay where here we are uh, we are writing publisher name and branch so uh, this information it is splitting as the two attributes here okay two columns data it is providing here using this one similarly now here this uh, it is providing the information about the author array so here in this author array what it is doing it is getting the information whatever array uh, contains are there one by one it is listing you can see here now jones and frick these are the authors for the networks uh, book book one so there the, therefore four times you can see the entry why because uh, whatever the keywords are there again those are also unnested so based on that it is providing this information let us see what I, what is this one here what this unnest uh, keyword is doing here it is for unnest it is unnesting all the keyword sets which are provided here okay let, let us see now how it is there so it is in this way whatever the keyword set uh, contains are there in the keyword set those are taken individually iterated one by one so first internet as a keyword it is taking for two authors jones and frick and again uh, web is taken as the keyword for the again the same authors therefore you can see here the two table entry in this one two entries are divided in eight one in this so this is called as unnesting here now what exactly nesting is nesting is exactly the opposite of unnesting you can say okay where in un unnesting what we are doing whatever the com uh, compiled value is there compiled attributes are there where we have taken arrays multi sets and all those those combined one we are splitting okay and uh, the detailed uh, table we are getting that is called as unnesting whereas in nesting the opposite thing is there when we have the detailed table okay that we are again combining as a composite attribute so that one is called as nesting okay therefore we can see that nesting is the opposite of unnesting where we are creating the collection valued attribute okay earlier what we have done uh, based on the collection valued attribute we have taken iterated the data and the, the detailed information we got okay but the uh, the reverse one we are doing here where whatever the nested unnested data is there the table is there that we are nesting here okay with the collection valued attribute so uh, nesting can be done by one of the function which is called as collect function okay it is a kind of aggregation operation you can see okay uh, nesting is exactly the kind of aggregation for the uh, for the table values you can see so uh, the function we are using here is collect okay one note i want to mention here that is whatever sql 99 is there which is the base we are studying here okay that is actually not supporting nesting okay it is not supporting nesting let us see so consider this flats brooks relation where the detailed information is there 
for compiler book author is smith the publisher name mcgraw hill branch is new york and uh, the keyword is parsing similarly the keywords are analysis uh, the authors are jones here for compiler similarly for networks the two authors are mentioned in four rows why because uh, two more keywords are added here internet and web okay so if we want to combine this one okay how we can write that is provided here see what we are doing for nesting we are nesting here for the flat books relation and we are converting that so select title we are taking title author publisher okay publisher we are taking as publisher name and branch we are combining here as publisher as publisher is mentioned then we are collecting using the collect keyword as a keyword set then uh, from this flat books so uh, based on the we are grouping th that by author and the publisher both okay uh, even the title is also mentioned again another set we are using this for keyword okay rest of the things is same like title we are uh, we are taking title we are taking author author set then uh, the publisher information and then again we are using collect keyword for keyword set okay so it is doing all that for getting the information of the uh, publisher information if combinedly we want we even we can do this by sub queries also so one of the example is provided here using the sub query so what we are doing here we are uh, writing the sub queries as select title where we are taking array okay so this it is converting the information of author array individual uh, authors as an array and it is ordering that by position okay one by one similarly publishers information is there again we are writing another sub query where multi set is provided okay so multi set whatever the keywords are there we are taking using the multi set keyword and we are converting that okay so these are the approaches of nesting and unnesting approaches uh, in the databases these are my references thank you